the history of creation begins with the Great War. As soon as God created the angels, war broke out in heaven, as the book of Revelation tells us. Lucifer, the most splendid of angels, revolted against God. He had refused to submit himself to God and to accept God's great plan for creation, the incarnation of the Word of God in a man who would be born of a woman. And this woman would be his queen. Lucifer revolted against the queen of angels, Mary Most Holy, even before she was created, and a third of the angels followed him in this revolt. But a sword of light rose up in defense of God's honor. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon and his angels and exorcised heaven of their presence, throwing them into hell. Dear friends, Salve Maria! On the 29th of September, the Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of three archangels whose names are mentioned in the Bible, Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, and Saint Raphael. Michael is also called the Prince of the Angels. He is known as the Protector of the Catholic Church and is also called the General of the Celestial Hosts of Angels. By the way, since we are talking about Saint Michael, I have a little story, a true story that happened uh, around the year 1950 during the Korean War. A US Marine called Michael had a great devotion to Saint Michael and used to pray to him daily. One day, he was at the front lines when another Marine, huge, strong and well-built, whom he had never seen before, walked up next to him. The Marine turned to his colleague and said to him, "I." thought I knew every man in this regiment, but I've never seen you before. The other man just smiled and said that he had joined at the last minute, and that his name was Michael. Surprised, our Marine said that his name was Michael too. The other huge man replied simply, I know. Then he continued, get ready, we're going to have some trouble ahead. At that moment, Seven heavily armed communist soldiers appeared and began to open fire at them. Our marines shouted to the other Michael to duck and jumped to the ground. And the huge Michael, on the contrary, remained standing and seemed unperturbed. Bullets flew in all directions and our marine was hit in the chest. Suddenly, he felt a strong arm lift him up and lay him down gently in the snow. When he looked up, he saw the huge Michael grow bigger and bigger and bigger, and he seemed to have some brightness around him that looked like the wings of an angel, and he had a sword in his hand. That was the last thing Michael saw, because at that moment he passed out. But when he came to himself again, he was surrounded by his companions. He began looking around and, and he asked, Where's the other Michael? Well, everyone was rather perplexed because there was no other Michael in that unit. The sergeant even confirmed that he knew every one of his soldiers and that there was no other single Michael in that regiment. Then the sergeant asked our Marine, How did you do it? We saw the seven communists firing, and there was smoke all around. But when the smoke subsided, the seven communists were dead. And we didn't even see you fire a single shot. When they inspected the bodies of the seven soldiers, each one of them had been killed by a sword. We often have a wrong idea about who angels are. They are many times represented in religious art as chubby, rosy-cheeked little children who play violence, comfortably seated on clouds. But we forget that angels are real spiritual warriors in the service of God, and their prince is the great Saint Michael the Archangel. Our life on earth is also a constant battle against our own passions and evil inclinations, against the attractions of the world, and above all, against the temptations and attacks of the devil. So let's always have recourse to St. Michael and his angelic warriors 
in our battles against the devils. He is the terror of demons because the demons can never forget the humiliating defeat they suffered at his hands when they were expelled from heaven. Let's pray to him. He will surely protect us and help us arrive safely to eternity. Salve Maria!